The Jeep Avenger, which debuted in 2022 as the brand's first electric vehicle, has quickly expanded its lineup to include internal combustion engine, IC, and mild hybrid options. Having already experienced the EV version, we recently tested the base Avenger equipped with a 1.2-liter gasoline engine and a manual transmission to see how this configuration fits the urban SUV lifestyle. Modern styling and functional interior The Avenger presents a stylish look as a subcompact SUV. Its muscular body and athletic proportions reflect a modern yet simplistic take on Jeep's design language. While entry-level models with small wheels and halogen headlights might appear basic, our test car's vibrant lake green paint and 18-inch wheels added undeniable charm. The gas-powered Avenger can be visually distinguished from its electric counterpart in a few subtle ways. The most noticeable difference is the presence of a tailpipe at the rear, which emerges from a cutout in the aluminum-style skid plate and features a large, trapezoidal design. Additionally, the gas-powered model lacks the E-badge on the taillight and retains a mostly blocked 7-slot grille for improved aerodynamics. Inside, the Avenger prioritizes practicality over luxury. While hard plastics dominate most surfaces, they are well-assembled and durable. The focus is on functionality, and the technology feels modern. The standard 10.25-inch infotainment touchscreen is responsive and offers wireless connectivity, an essential feature these days. However, the 10.25-inch digital instrument cluster could benefit from more customization options to enhance the driving experience. Compact yet capable, the Jeep Avenger. Measuring 4,084 mm, 160.8 inches, in length, the Jeep Avenger is a conveniently sized subcompact SUV. It is 146 mm, 5.7 inches, shorter than the Renegade and 336 mm, 13.2 inches, shorter than the Compass. Despite its compact size, the Avenger's boxy design and clever interior packaging allow it to comfortably seat four adults for shorter trips. The 380-liter, 13.4 cubic feet, cargo area provides ample storage for everyday essentials. In-cabin storage is plentiful, although the manual gearbox required the removal of the large center console compartment typical in EVs. Instead, it features a smaller wireless charging cubby beneath the dual USB ports. Back to basics configuration. Initially, Jeep restricted the ICE-powered Avenger to specific European markets, confident in the dominance of EVs. However, the global slowdown in EV adoption prompted the company to reconsider, now placing greater emphasis on ICE and mild hybrid powertrain options. The turbocharged 1.2-liter three-cylinder engine powering our Avenger is a staple across various Stellantis brands, Fiat, Citroën, DS, Opel, and Peugeot, for their subcompact and compact models. In its latest iteration, it delivers 99 horsepower, 74 kilowatts slash 100 PS, and 205 newton meters, 151.2 lbft of torque, slightly less than the EV by 55 horsepower, 41 kilowatts slash 56 PS, and 55 newton meters, 41 lbft. The non-electrified powertrain is exclusively paired with a six-speed manual gearbox, as the six-speed dual-clutch automatic is reserved for the mild hybrid. As with all versions of the Jeep Avenger, except the flagship mild hybrid 4XC, power is transmitted to the front wheels. Performance and Handling Jeep Avenger Ice Despite its modest horsepower, the engine effectively propels the Avenger's compact frame, particularly in the mid-range. Weighing 1,182 kilograms, 2,606 pounds, the ICE version is 354 kilograms lighter than its battery electric counterpart. While acceleration may not be thrilling, it's sufficient for everyday driving, thanks to the well-tuned manual gearbox and decent torque output. At higher RPMs, the powertrain lacks grunt and can become noisy, unlike in larger Stellantis vehicles equipped with the same motor and better insulation. Nevertheless, as long as you don't push it to its limits, the gas-powered Avenger performs adequately as a cruiser for its size, boasting a notably higher top speed compared to its electric counterpart. When pushed, the small engine can be particularly thirsty, making the factory consumption rating seem optimistic. Based on our experience, the average fuel consumption in mixed conditions typically ranges between 7.5 to 8.0 LT, slash 100 km, 29 to 31 miles per gallon. 
unless the driver maintains a light right foot and considerable patience. One of the highlights of the ICE-powered Avenger is its impressive 580 kilometers, 360 miles, range on a full tank of gasoline, significantly surpassing the charger-dependent EV's WLTP figure of 400 kilometers, 248 miles. The Jeep-specific suspension setup remains one of the Avenger's greatest strengths, providing a refined and comfortable ride for the segment. Additionally, the Avenger offers great handling, with plenty of traction and minimal body roll when taking corners. Although the brakes are slightly smaller in diameter compared to the heavier EV, they efficiently stop the lighter gas-powered Avenger. Despite its front-wheel drive FWD, layout, the Avenger demonstrates decent capability on uneven terrain. The 201 mm inches, of ground clearance and short overhangs provide good approach and departure angles, inspiring driver confidence, off-road capability, and drive modes. While the FWD system may limit serious off-roading, the standard select terrain drive modes, Eco, Normal, Sport, Sand, Mud, Snow, help mitigate this by adjusting electronic settings to optimize traction in slippery conditions. However, these modes don't significantly alter driving dynamics as they do in the electric Avenger, where they can notably change powertrain output. Ultimately, the Avenger is more adventurous than most rival subcompact SUVs. However, those who intend to take it off the beaten track regularly should consider the AWD-capable mild hybrid 4XC, which also comes with more suitable tires for such adventures. Pricing and Equipment In Greece, where we tested it, the Jeep Avenger 1.2 starts at €24,267, $26,346, for the longitude trim and €26,267, $28,517, for the better equipped altitude trim. This pricing makes it €2,500, $2,714, cheaper than the equivalent mild hybrid and a full €14,710. $15,970, more affordable than the EV before any government subsidies. The entry-level Longitude model comes with halogen headlights and 16-inch wheels, along with standard features like a 10.1-inch infotainment system, a six-speaker audio setup, and rear parking sensors. Upgrading to the mid-spec Altitude model adds enhancements such as 17-inch wheels, a 10-inch digital instrument cluster, and adaptive cruise control. Stylish 18-inch wheels are part of a €1,893 package, which also includes X-shaped full-LED taillight graphics and interior ambient lighting. Additionally, an optional package priced at €1,559 bundles features like a hands-free tailgate, a wireless charging pad, built-in navigation, and a JBL audio system. Most of the above features come standard in the flagship Summit trim, which is exclusively available for the electric Avenger in this market. Verdict The ICE-powered Jeep Avenger retains the cool factor of its EV counterpart, boasting the added convenience of refueling and a notably lower starting price. Its turbocharged 1.2-liter engine delivers ample power for most needs, complemented by the well-tuned six-speed manual gearbox, though it can get noisy and thirsty under hard acceleration. Thanks to its Jeep-specific chassis tuning, the Avenger offers a surprisingly refined ride for its segment, while the cabin is roomier than expected for an SUV measuring 4,084 mm inches) in length. While the ICE package offers compelling value, those with a slightly more flexible budget may opt for the more technically advanced 